To mention Peter Obi's name is disgrace to me. Again, APC presidential candidate Tunubu marks political opponent. Tunubu, who spoke during a campaign rally on Friday, also claimed that the statistics the Labour Party candidate dished out every time was not what Nigerians we are going to eat. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always coming out here. May God bless you all. The APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu has said that mentioning Peter Obi's name is a disgrace to him. He said nobody should dare mention Peter Obi's name, you know, to him because Peter Obi, you know, mentioning his name is a disgrace to him. He also spoke during a campaign rally on Friday, also claimed that the statistics the Labour Party candidate dish out every time was not what Nigerians were going to eat. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for always stopping by. May God bless you all. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, has bragged that it is, a, it is disgrace to mention the name of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, in his presence. Tinubu, who spoke during a camp campaign rally on Friday, also claimed that the statistics the Labour Party candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, dished out every time was not what Nigerians were going to eat. Making mockery of the Labour Party opponent, the former Lagos governor said that all the statistics Peter Obi dished out were wrong. In a video sent by Sahara reporters, Tunubu said the other one, that one, he thinks that it is statistics we will chop in line with uh, arithmetics that no Indian can solve. Mm? To mention his name is a disgrace to myself. I won't mention his name more. Wrong arithmetic, wrong statistics, warehouse, economy. That is not what Nigerians need. What is arithmetic? <laughs> oh my God. Tinubu has a record of making mockery of political opponents despite having a bag of controversies around his neck. Chief among them being that he was allegedly a former drug baron. Sahara reporters in November reported that Tinubu said it was disrespectful to mention the name of the deputy governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos, Fonke Adele Akindele. In his presence, Akindele is also a famous Nigerian actor. Tinubu had made this known at a political outing where his supporters sang a campaign song, subscribing Funke as a political ant compared to the incumbent governor of Lagos and candidate of the APC in the 2023 election. Babajide Shanwulu, however, Tunubu cautioned his supporters against mentioning Akindele's name in his presence, describing it as disrespectful and an insult. Don't ever bother to mention her name in my presence. It is an ant. It is disrespectful. The former Lagos governor had said. Funke had said that God called her and the PDP governorship candidate, Adu Aziz, and gave them the mandate to change the, the, the term, the Lagos around. Funke said God has been with her right from birth and is interested in aspirations to make Lagos State work for all people in the state. God has been with me from infancy till I went to school and till now. He chose me to be the deputy governorship candidate of the PDP despite the crowd that struggled to be chosen. I give God all the glory for what he has done. God has always been doing the best for me. We were called by God. If not, we would have backed out. People have suffered, but God has called us. 
and put us forward to come and change the story of Lagos State for the better. The success of Lagos State is ours, she had said. Hmm. Bola Tinubu. That is not my problem. Oh. Just imagine, you know, this man becomes the next president of Nigeria. The kind of arrogance is what I don't get. He's not yet the president, but he's acting like the president. Even the president cannot even act the way this Tunubu is acting right now. Those that have always on drugs don't value people, and it gives them, you know, that kind of courage and high sense of themselves. That is one major effect of drug, and he has exhibited it all the time. It is led for Nigerians to humble him with our vote, and sent his demented self to political retirement. That is true. He is too small to mention his name. Absolutely, the social media president is too small for our incoming president Tinubu to engage him in anything. I said, I said in anything. From the abundance of the of the art, the match speaketh. He has said such against Funke, a man full of hate, pride, arrogancy. He is sick and wicked. May he never happen to Nigeria. God I beg oh. Pride goes before fall. Tunubu will definitely mention Mr. Peter Obi as his president by 2023. Emperor Tunubu, pride goes go ahead before it falls. Oh, your arrogance will surely consume you. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. As you can see, Nigerians are saying that Tunubu arrogance will not take him anywhere. A, a, a leader does not supposed to be arrogant. But the way the APC presidential candidate is acting as if he's the Mr. President already, even Mr. President could not up, uh, uh, act the way Tinubu is acting right now. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe if you have not. Thank you.